Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to enable frame generation for your games on your Steam Deck Steam OS to give you that performance boost because let's be honest, the Steam Deck does struggle to run some harder to run games and you know, a performance boost is really needed. And this is a free mod, so you know, it, it's free. Um, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't do this if you're playing these games on your Steam Deck. And it's a really hot topic right now because recently I did a video showing you how to install this free mod on your Steam Deck with Hogwarts Legacy. And that video got picked up by the people over at PCGuide.com and they actually wrote an article about it. So I want to give a big shout out to you guys over at PCGuide.com. Thank you for covering the story of my video. And I'll link that article in the description if you want to check that out. So with that out of the way, let's get started. The game that I'm going to be showing you today is Cyberpunk 2077. And there is a prerequisite for this mod. Uh, the game needs to support DirectX 12 and it needs to have DLSS 2 or DLSS 3 natively. Okay, um, I'm not sure if you can see the... Let me move my camera. So here on the top right corner you can see the game version is 2.12 i think that does matter because um uh lower versions of this game don't support frame generation so you do need to have an up-to-date um uh, version of this game okay and okay so i've got the mod installed i'll show you how to install it later on in the video i'll just show you how it performs first now so let's go to settings and if you go to graphics uh i've not turned it on yet so you can see here, DLSS frame generation. I've not turned this on yet. I'm using the Steam Deck graphic preset. I want to show you what it's like um, without the mod enabled. And then I'll toggle it on. And then we can see the performance jump. And then I'll take you back to my Steam Deck desktop mode and I'll show you how to install it. It's not too difficult. Just follow along. Just make sure you have your game ready. Um, and yeah, the version I'm using is 2.12 as of recording so like, depending on when you're watching it maybe uh, when you're watching it at a later date it might be an updated version of the game but yeah i'm using 2.12 uh, maybe don't go below that uh, i don't really play this game okay so this is the starting area of um the phantom liberty dlc i don't really play this game i tried to play it um when it first came out played a few missions i couldn't get into the story and then and then um when the phantom liberty dlc came out i tried to play it again uh yeah still couldn't get into it i, I do like cd project red i like the witcher 3 and i really appreciate how they've got that graphic preset for the steam deck they've got that for this game and also on the witcher 3 i think um, this feature needs to be implemented um for other games as well like other developers should really implement this feature like they have a graphic preset for the steam deck really really cool i think okay so you can see like if you're playing this game on the um, steam deck graphic preset you get like 30 ish 40 frames okay now let me toggle on the let me toggle on the frame generation okay so here i've and set the resolution scaling to DLSS super resolution. That's because I've got the mod installed. And then um, I'm going to set it to quality. So this isn't really DLSS. Um, it's actually using um, the toggle and then it translates it to FSR. Okay, and then um, frame generation, I'm going to toggle this on. Then apply. Okay, let's back out of it. And if you notice the top left corner, the FPS counter, it just jump to 60 fps but yeah free performance boost just like that so who wouldn't who wouldn't do this I, I don't understand if you are using the steam deck if you have a friend that's playing on the steam deck tell them about this mod show them this video right it's free and it's not difficult to install and you just get free performance boost and there's no like UI flickering, no ghosting. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no input lag. It feels like the responsiveness feels exactly the same as like when this mod was turned off. So yeah, uh, I know some people's gonna ask me that. Like, how's the input lag? Uh, maybe I'm not sensitive enough. I just can't feel any difference. So if I jump out of the car, yeah, see? Like, 
it's responsive. Like I, I when I move use my controller and I press Listen, the button and I shoot. Oops, I, I got you. ran over by a car. Okay. Okay, so shoot, 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 see? There's no lag that I can feel. Right. Like not a not, not enough exactly to impact my gameplay, I guess. I guess that's because I'm sure there is input lag. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give because a it's actually running at a lower frame. Um, but remember, it's generating extra frames, so it feels smoother. But like the the uh, it's really actually running at like 30 ish, 40 frames. So there mm. there is, but I can't really feel it. So yeah. I think I've shown you enough. Let's go back to my desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this. See you back in desktop mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to know where your game folder is. So mine's a non-Steam game. So I've got mine in the uh, home games directory, Cyberpunk 2077. For you, if it's a Steam version, it should be inside your home and then make sure you click on the hamburger button show hidden files it should be in dot steam theme theme apps and then common so you should have a cyberpunk 2077 folder inside here if you have the steam version but for me it's inside the home games folder and then cyberpunk 2077 um, and this is not where we're going to put our mods uh, the mod files we're going to go a little bit deeper go inside the bin folder and then x64 so this is where we're going to put our mod files and then the second thing you need to do is download the mod. So I'll link this page in the description. Um, it's a Nexus Mods page. Uh, the mod is called DLSS Enabler. It's free. So go here and then go to Files. And then get the latest version, Manual Download. And then here it says something about the reg files. Um, I'll show you what to do later on. You don't have to worry about that now. Just click on Download. And then um, slow download for me. I'm using a free account. If you have a premium account, go download the fast one. And then, um, yeah, it's downloading. Okay, so I'm downloading the, the mod. It's an EXE. So, yeah, if you're worried about it's a virus, it could be. So do it at your own risk. And then what you need to do is you need to have Proton Tricks. So if you don't have Proton Tricks, go to your taskbar here. Discover Software Center. In the search bar, type Proton Tricks. And you see this red wine glass icon, this app, you need to get it, go install it. I already have it. And I assumed you already like run the game already once. So, you know, your Steam Deck has the prefix folder. And then you should see your game in here. I've got mine right here, non-Steam Shortcut, Cyberpunk 2077. Double click it. Wait for a bit. Uh, don't panic. It's doing its thing. It's loading up the prefix folder. And then, um, yeah, just wait for it to pop up like this and then select the default wine prefix click ok yeah run uninstaller okay and then install and then go to your downloads folder and select the exe that you just downloaded that's the mod installer open and this is the installer i accept the agreement next next and then here, you need to install it to a directory, okay? So we want to install it to our game directory. So click Browse and see if you can find it. Sometimes you can't. Okay, so Z Drive is where my, like, Steam Deck internal SSD is. So Home, and we should have a, like, Games folder, which I don't have here. So I'm not sure why sometimes it just doesn't recognize it. So... There is a workaround. I can probably just here and copy, copy the, the path, copy, and then here just type Z drive and then paste, paste the path. Next. Okay, it doesn't exist. So do you want to create it? I don't think that's a good idea. So there is another workaround if you have this problem. So just go to your downloads page. A folder and then just create a folder i'm just going to create a folder called dlss enabler okay so i'm just going to um install the mod here oops okay so browse let's just find that let's find downloads and here dlss enabler so i just create this folder i'm just going to in install the mod there 
Okay, and then here I'm just going to install DLSS enabler, the version.dll file, and then here enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs because we're on the Steam Deck and it's using an AMD GPU. So make sure you check this. Click next, install, and we don't need to read the readme file. Uncheck this, finish. Okay, and we can keep this open for now. We still need Proton Tricks, so keep it open. And then back here, the DLSS enable. All right, so all the mod files are created here. Uh, we need to copy it. I'm going to move it over to my game folder. So Cyberpunk 2077 inside the bin folder, x64. I'm just going to paste it here. So paste all those files. Apply to all, overwrite. I already have maybe some files need to be overwritten. Okay, so yeah, that's done. And inside these files, there's a file called um, this one, disable NVIDIA signature checks. Maybe you want to copy this and put it into your desktop. So I'm just going to do that. I already have one here, so I'm just going to override it. Just copy that. And now we're going to run the reg file. So inside the Proton Tricks again, this time we're going to run reg edit. Okay, and this file, we need to use that on the desktop. So here, go to registry, import registry file, and select desktop. And I've got this file, disable NVIDIA signature check. So this disables the check, so it doesn't check if you're using um, what display card you're using. Because we're using AMD, but we want to toggle on DLSS, so this, this disables it. So just double click it, and then it says the keys and values contained in blah, 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 were successfully added to the registry. Once you see this, click OK. Now we can exit, exit, and exit. Okay, and we're almost done. Now go to your Steam library, and then select your game. Gear icon, properties, make sure you have this Launch option, so it's Wine DLL overrides equals quotation marks version, comma, DXGI equals N, comma, B, close the quotation marks, space, percentage, command, percentage, okay? I'll link this, uh, like, I'll, I'll put this in the description. You can copy it and paste it if you, you know, you might have a typo. So you can just copy and paste that. And then, yeah, just run the game. And we should be able to um, toggle on DLSS and frame generation. So let's run the game in desktop mode. And it works in gaming mode. I just showed you gaming mode um, at the start of the video. This is um, desktop mode. So if you're liking the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. Okay. So let's check our settings. Settings. Graphics. Okay, you can see here, yeah. The resolution scale, you can see we can select the OSS. Super resolution and then quality. Then frame generation. We can toggle this on and off. So the, 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 the mod works perfectly. The mod works perfectly and yeah, we can just quit and you know, go back to gaming mode and play the game uh, through the FPS overlay. So you can check your FPS and yeah, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment if you have any issues or if you want to just say thank you. Uh, we can engage in a little conversation and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.